Hi, this is Laura Ramsey. Hi, this is Aurora Papil. And At this is ZayZay.com. <laughs> I really need a visa. Any proof of income? I recorded this CD. It still sells in some markets. Wait, wait. ¿Qué hubo, compadre? ¿Se armó? Me volteó a ver la gringa, canicas. Señorita. What? We Mexican band número uno. Very fun. Hot man. Very hot. Cool. ¿Qué pasa y cómo están, mi gente? Yo soy tu amigo Zay Zay. Welcome to another banging interview and welcome to my world. Today, I have the privilege and honor of sitting with two beautiful women. Because that's how I get down. Look at this. High fives and all that. <laughs> Hanging out with Laura Ramsey and Aurora Papile. Right, but do you yes, want to throw the you. Catherine in there or no? You can throw it in. It's my middle name, but Ooh, you, can you can do say the full. Aurora. Aurora Catherine Papile. He's nice. done his research. They are uh, <laughs> starring in the new movie Pulling yeah. Strings, and this movie is awesome. How you guys doing? Good. We're great. Yeah? We're great. Feeling good, right? Feeling great. And she's in the air, making we got it happen. It, yeah. <laughs> what a cool movie! Thank what you. What a great, great, good, feel good kind of movie, and it's like a comedy that has heart, and you don't you don't get that. A lot. Did you guys feel that when you guys were reading the scripts? That this was going to be that kind of... I felt that. Yeah. I, yeah. I felt that it was just going to be... I love the aspect of the relationships. There's so many relationships going on. Yeah, that's true. Of father-daughter, mother-mother, friendship, trust. Right. And I think everybody will be able to relate to this movie. Whether mm -hmm. you're... You know, you bring your grandmother, you bring your date, or your mom, or your dad, or your daughter. Like, right. I think it's a movie for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you. Look <laughs> <laughs> now, one of the things that I noticed in watching it is um, with the with the language situation. I mean, I know that you speak you speak perfect Spanish, uh, having a Mexican yes. dad. Um, but I also noticed that you spoke very well in the job, and then oh, your character spoke very well in the job, and then when you took it to the streets, I didn't have a clue. <laughs> there is not a, like even a clue. Did yeah. you did you do that on purpose though for the for the for the character? Um, like that distance, you know, never seeing anybody kind of thing. Sort of, yeah. yeah. I yeah, I, I um well I really memorized my lines in the beginning of like <laughs> I mean I had to practice that a lot, but uh to make it sound like that was my job and that's what I did for a living. Right, right. But I feel like it would be that way anyway if um because that language in a, a such a professional setting is different than when you do take it to the streets. Sure. So sure. I mean, it was interesting all along the journey of just learning all the, the words. You cannot sleep on a bus stop. Oh, 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 my God. Last night, I had a black computer. And we can help you find it, right, Canicas? Si la tengo conmigo, la tengo cerca, le voy a demostrar que me merezco la visa. You guys shot in Mexico, right? Yes. yes. Now, your first impression may not have been for this movie, I'm sure. I'm sure you've been to Mexico many times. but. What was your first impression when you first went to Mexico, as opposed to being here in the United States? Um, the, 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 how huge it is. <laughs> you know, you're coming in from the plane and you just look out the window and you just see all these little houses everywhere in colors and it's just immense, you know, and the energy and it's, it's great. It's really like kind of intimidating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like, I guess, first time in New York City kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. but time's like 100, because <laughs> it's way bigger. What about you, Laura? First time I in Mexico. I feel the same way, you... except for the fact that I don't know the language. So for me, I was like, am I going to like figure this out? But then you meet people who speak English, and you're like, oh, OK. Like, not everybody speaks Spanish. And, um, but it, I felt the same way. I felt just totally. It was so big, and the smell is different. Like when you travel to any other country, the right. smell, the colors, the the food, the and I I already have always loved the food and tequila. So when I actually came here and got to have like the real deal, it was just like <laughs> I didn't really want to go back to America. We lived on the right. Taco Bell. Yeah, you kind of had to pull good. me from, but What's um, Tex-Mex and all this. Yeah, stuff? it's not the same. Nice, nice. Okay, the wrapper me up. Do me a favor. Look okay. into the camera, and in ten seconds, sell me this movie. Why do I need to go see Pulling Strings? Oh God. Ten seconds. Pulling Strings is an amazing, family fun, entertaining. You'll see a totally different country inside of Mexico. Jaime Camilo, mariachi. Oh, Chaparro. <laughs> <laughs> you'll laugh. You'll cry. You'll. If you haven't been to Mexico City, you will see be the in sites. Mexico City. Money. No. 
Manolito quiere una serenata para su gente, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Deja que salga la luna, deja que se meta el sol, deja que caiga la luna. ¡Cállense! ¡Van a despertar a los vecinos! ¿Quieres que llame a la policía?